So you want to bring some coins to base to maybe buy some bread. So let me show you the fastest and the cheapest way to do that. And I know it sounds too good to be true because usually cheap cannot be fast. But in this case, the fastest is actually the cheapest way. So let me show you. Now before I show you the fastest way, let me show you what the difference is going to be. If you're just going to go to base.org, this is the official website for base uh, blockchain. And over here, if you click on bridge, you're going to end up on this screen. And it's going to show you two official, two official bridges to base chain. So the first one is bridge.gg. So if you're going to go to bridge.gg and you connect your wallet, and it happens to be that I'm going to be sending USDC because I have some USDC, but you might be sending Ethereum. So this is how much it's going to cost you. So if you click review transaction, as you can see, it's using CCTP, which is Chainlink protocol. So the fees are going to be 88 cents and the bridge time is going to be one hour. So you're going to have to wait for an hour sweating whether the funds are going to arrive or not. Now, if you decide to send Ethereum, as you can see, I chose Ethereum. It's going to cost you 76 cents and it's going to be two minutes, which is not bad at all. But still, it's not the fastest way that you can do this. So if you're sending Ethereum, you might be okay using breed.gg, but still it's two minutes and it's 76 cents. So there's a cheaper and faster way. Now, if we're back on the base.org page and you can click on Superbridge and you go ahead and on Superbridge, you're going to select USDC it's going to take about 25 minutes to transfer your funds and it's going to cost you $1. Now, if I choose Ethereum, it's going to cost you 29 cents, which is cheaper. And it's going to be approximately three minutes until your funds transferred. So a little bit slower than breed.gg, but still three minutes is not too bad. Now, let me show you the fastest way. The fastest way is called across.2. And over here, if we're going to click on bridge now, we're going to land on this screen. Now click over here and connect your wallet. And as you can see, I've already selected everything. I'm going to send USDC from Ethereum to base and it's going to take only 10 seconds, guys. 10 seconds. That's the fastest so far. And you're also going to get optimism rewards. So your net fee is going to end up being only one cent, guys. One cent. So the total bridge fee is going to be 12 cents. So I would be okay even with that. It's the cheapest so far. The destination gas fee is basically zero, but you're going to get optimism rebate of 11 cents. So you're sending it for one cent, guys, and it's going to take you 10 seconds. So this is the fastest way so far. And after that, you'll be able to buy bread or whatever you want to buy on the base chain. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to click confirm transaction. And by the way, I'm using Rabbi Wallet, but you can be using MetaMask or anything else that works with it. So it's giving me this alert that I need to dismiss because I've never used it before. So I'm going to do ignore this alert. I'm going to click begin signing process. So since I'm using Ledger, I'm going to have to sign a Ledger and transaction sent to the network. Sign it again. The first one was the approval, now the actual bridge. All right, guys, and it's done. The approximate time changed a little bit, but still 36 seconds total time, not too shabby. And now, as you can see, guys, I got all my USDC. I barely paid anything in gas fees, and that was super fast, and it literally took like half a minute. I guess even though they claim that it takes 10 seconds, it took 26 seconds, but I'm totally fine with it. I used the other bridges before, and it was taking them up to an hour and I was like, is it gonna, is it gonna get lost or not? But in this case, it's almost instant. As you can see, it's on the base chain right now and I can use it to swap for any other coin. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe for more stuff like this, and I'll see you all guys in the next one.